We are hiking today in the sacred valley in Peru. I'm a little winded. It's hard to do Ujjayi breath when you're at this high of elevation. We're now at about two and a half thousand meters, I think. And we have still ways to go because today we're hiking up to Machu Picchu. Let's back up and take you through the day's adventure, which started at 3.30 a.m. And now it is sunset here at Machu Picchu. Ah, that was a very long hike up the mountain, but it's actually easier than it usually would be because we chose the two-day hike and there's also a four-day option <laughs> and a seven-day option, but both of those were closed right now. So we got to do the two-day and uh, it was such a beautiful hike. So, started at 3.30, then we woke up, brushed teeth, did our morning cars, a little bit of movement. We got picked up by our wonderful guide who brought us uh, after a two hour ride to the train station which goes, I think for another almost two hours, to the starting point of the short Inca trail that we did today. It's a 12 kilometer, I think, hike and 600 or more meters elevation. It is a two-day adventure, a two-day trip. So the first trip, or the first day today is really just hiking up the mountain, then going down to Machu Picchu so you see it, but you're actually not going onto or into the ancient city. You're not exploring it. And then next morning on day two, we're going out for sunrise and then we're actually going into the city. We're then exploring with the guide the city and he will explain a lot more. So we're now at a very nice viewpoint where we can see Urubamba River, Chachabamba, one of the towns. And then up here you see another town and another town. And this is the Machu Picchu mountain that we're going up to. It's a little bit cloud covered currently. And uh, we're walking over that mountain to go down to Machu Picchu village. Vamos. The Incas built thousands of miles of trail connecting Ecuador and Peru and Colombia, Bolivia and probably some other countries. So several thousand, thousand, thousand miles of trails so that they could get around hundreds of years ago. It's so unbelievable. I can barely even make a pancake, let alone build a trail for hundreds of thousands of miles. Just unbelievable. We've been going up and down stairs for the past hour and now we have this set which looks like it's so steep that I might have to crawl up. Let's see how this goes. It's a great stair climber. Oh. Yep. She's doing it without any problems. <laughs> From that leg day class on Patreon. Check it out. 90 minutes of this stuff. Whoa. These are some good stairs. He's such a beast. This morning our guide asked us if we really want to hike with those shoes, with our sandals. I said yes, of course, these are the shoes we feel most comfortable with. And they're also the only shoes that we have. So of course we're gonna go with those. And actually I would also do those shoes again if I went on this hike again. I actually have lots of control, lots of grip, and it's just what feels natural to us. It probably looks very funny to people. But we are very happy that we chose our sandals for the hike. They're actually made for trail running. And as you know, the shoe does not need any support. You just need a little bit of a sole, a thin one, to protect the foot from anything that's sharp or that can hurt the skin. But besides that, no art support or anything needed. The foot knows what to do. There's a very good documentary on this. It's called Shoe Spiracy. It talks about the shoe industry and what they do to your feet and to the people. How's it going with the stairs, Bree? 
in the elevation. Very meditative, actually. Challenging for sure, but makes me walk slower and appreciate every step, every breath. I really can't complain. <laughs> so awesome. I love it so much. After a million stairs, we made it to the Sun's Gate just in time to catch the sunset. Wow. That is breathtaking. There is Machu Picchu. With the beautiful golden sun on it. Makes sense, they call this the Sun's Gate. Wow. We've had this in other vlogs before that there's always these two sides. We're of course happy that no one else is here, very grateful, but also really feel with the guides that no yeah. one else is coming and they have no work. And it's very sad to see and we talk to them and they explain their story and what happened over the last year. And it's just very sad how much it is affecting millions of people that work in this industry all over the world. So our hearts go out to all the people that rely on tourism to keep their business going, to keep their families with food on the table and shelter and water and everything. It's harsh to see it like in person. We're just really grateful to be here and the tour guides are also incredibly happy to have us and they're just so, so stoked to go on a hike with us even though it's only the two of us. <laughs> we were a little bit scared if you're kind of underprepared because you only have sandals and we have only so limited luggage and yeah. things. And one but actually it was perfect. And... Just one sweatshirt, yeah. sandals, I have shorts, B has leggings on and that's it you're good to go uh, at least for us today this was absolutely perfect if you consider going it might not be the right setup for you and the right things to pack in preparation but yeah. it was good we we're both snacking lots of coca leaves which really help with the elevation and also have many other health benefits unfortunately only allowed in peru and maybe some other uh, some south other american south american countries, countries yeah. so we will now continue walking down towards machu picchu continue our hike and then take it from there. <laughs> it's day two of the Machu Picchu adventure. It's pretty foggy out, so that's why we are getting some coffee. And we had such a good night's sleep. Oh my gosh, after the hike. And a huge firm, bed, huge firm bed, mattress, firm bed. Fresh air, right by the river. And we've just both like slept. I think we fell asleep and woke up in the same position. like seven and a half hours later. <laughs> oh, it was, it was good. Amazing. Today is day two of our Machu Picchu adventure and uh, it's a lot more busy here today than yesterday. Yeah. As you walked in yesterday through the Sun Gate, maybe nothing. two people or so, oh, yeah. whole Machu Picchu them. city. Now we, there's probably like a hundred or so already. It's gonna be a wonderful day. We're super excited to explore. Yeah. We have our guide with, you, with us again. We're gonna be here for the next couple of hours. He will um, show us the city walk us through the city and uh, of course share more history and knowledge with us. It's gonna be amazing. Yeah, well, we've been here for a couple hours now, just waiting for it to clear up. Drinking lots of coffee. Lots of coffee. So we were probably, yeah, one of the first buses to get here this morning. And um, yeah. now we've seen, I don't know, eight or nine other buses come in. So it's of course gonna be a lot more people in the city, but we don't mind. The yeah. tour is going to be about um, two to three hours of the tour walking through the city and uh, we'll take our time go nice and slow because as Bree said it's one way. So we take our time, enjoy it and then we move on. There's no way back. Cheers. Cheers. Welcome to Machu Picchu. <laughs> now it cleared up and we are exploring Machu Picchu city. Check out this view as we're walking into the city. Beautiful mountains part of the city and over there is basically the real city. Okay, we'll stamp your passport with the official Machu Picchu stamp. 
but apparently they stopped doing it during the pandemic. But we begged them and we were like, pretty, 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 please. And they, they still stamped it for us. Don't tell anybody though. Don't put it on YouTube. Don't put it on YouTube. <laughs> And that is the end of our adventure to Machu Picchu. It was an amazing thing to see and very humbling to know how much work went into building this place over a hundred years to, to build it. And it still wasn't done. So incredible. Impressive. It's also very well preserved because the uh, Spanish conquest, they didn't actually discover it hundreds of years ago. So it was only rediscovered about a hundred years ago. Yeah, so everything is pretty well intact. The sundial and all of the temples and the altars and so many different aspects of it that are just breathtaking that you really can't see in a lot of other places and uh, Inca ancient cities because they were all destroyed. Yeah, so we're very happy to come visit. Yeah, that's all we can say. <laughs> <laughs> it's just breathtaking. Just We're happy so... and grateful to, to yeah. be here for the opportunity. Not many people here either and just be yeah. able to see it and explore. Yeah, we're so honored to be able to experience this. If Machu Picchu is on your bucket list of things to come and see, we highly, highly, highly recommend that you maybe do it now because it is such a good time to explore it. There's like less than 200 people here and usually there can be up to five or 8,000 in one day. So now's the time. Of course, we had to wear face masks during our time exploring the city, but it's completely worth it. And we yeah. were smiling the whole time underneath our masks and it was just amazing. So thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. See ya, bye.